Sorry guys, her, her stand broke. So, um, hey guys, it's Lizzie, and today I'm gonna be talking about something. So you guys know I love you all, and I was one of the biggest opposers to the Monster High reboot, but recently, a week ago, two weeks ago, it was a while ago, I went to Walmart, I saw Ari, I asked my dad, he's like, okay, and I got Ari. Now, um, as you guys know, I was literally, I, me and my friend Jay, aka Nathan Rod, we literally started the Save Monster High hashtag. We made it a thing. We made it big. And then I go out and buy a reboot. But don't worry, he did too. He got the singing Ari. And, um, he got the Monica, the Monica... Is it Monica? Yeah, Monica and Draculaura do back. Like, so we're total hypocrites. <laughs> like, some people have made videos being like, save Monster High, and then they go out and they buy reboots. So I guess we're all hypocrites? Okay, so right now, I'm gonna be telling you guys where I really stand on the Monster High reboot situation. I'm gonna try not to be too repetitive because I have made several videos on this in the past, but today I just want to give you guys my final stance on the reboot. So, um, I'm probably gonna put some pictures or something on the screen and react to those, even though this isn't really a reaction video, it's more me telling you how I feel about the reboot. So let's, let's get right into this. I'm actually pretty excited to make this video, so let's do this. For starters, um, I'll be honest, I really don't like Frankie or Draculaura's faces. Draculaura looked fine before, but now she just looks all smiley and it's kind of creepy on a doll. One thing I've never liked is smiling dolls. Okay, Courtly and Kitty are an exception, but that's because they're supposed to be smiling. But then when you get a doll and they're all like, hold on, I've got a smiling creep in here somewhere. Where are you, you smiling creep? Oh yeah, Michelle. You just get a doll and they're all like, Hey, I'm smiling. <sighs> get away from the screen, Melvin. What? I said get away from the screen, you freaking mug. <laughs> so, uh, anyway. I personally just get freaked out with dolls that have a huge smile or Dolls that just don't look all that good. For instance, the reboot Frankie, the reason I hate her face is because I've grown to love this Frankie's face. So right here I've got my Gloom Beach re-release Frankie. Yes, I said re-release. Um, and you see, I just like the way her face looks here. She looks pretty. So I don't have a reboot Frankie to compare her to, thank God. But, um, you all already know how Reboot Frankie's face is, but I personally am just a bigger fan of the classic Frankie. With Claudine, it's the same story. Here, she's got that more fierce expression, but on her new doll, she looks kind of like a scared deer in the headlights, and she doesn't look fierce, you know? Not to mention, she, she's got that molded fur, like, girl, you need to shave. But then here, she, like, doesn't have that, and I like that. I will admit the new thicker bodies are kind of cool, but with Ari, let me show you, um, she's actually kind of hard to move at the legs. Like, it's stiff, and I feel like if I bend it too much, they're gonna break. Gotta admit, the plastic just feel kind of thin, just kind of feel kind of, what's it called? Okay, I can't talk. It feels kind of cheap, but the reboot dolls are still nice nonetheless. So, really? I don't feel too bad about getting Ari, and I don't entirely hate the reboot anymore, but that's just for the dolls. Okay, so moving on to my opinion of the reboot movies. Mattel has announced three Monster High reboot movies already. One minute. <clears throat> Sorry, my voice is all messed up. So, um, first of all, there's Welcome to Monster High. 
That one actually doesn't look half bad. The bag. Bad. The detail. <sighs> the villain is actually pretty cool. I really like Monica. I like the way she came out. She's a cool character. But moving on to Shriek Wrecked. What is the plot? Like, they sh they get shipwrecked on an island and they meet Donna? Dana? I don't know how the hell her name is pronounced. But, um, so doll-wise for the Shriek Wrecked movie, I love the way most of them came out. Most. Claudine and, da Claudine and Dana, I can definitely do without. But the Rochelle, but Rochelle, Draculaura, and Claudine. No, not Claudine. Rochelle, Draculaura, and Laguna. I'm sorry, I can't talk. Those three look cool. But for the Monster High Electrified movie, the plot looks pretty stupid. So basically the plot for Electrified is that they make fashions using electricity or something, and then Mo Monica tries to steal them. I think she gets away with it, but then they catch her in like some awesome way. I don't know, to me it just sounds like a webisode stretched out to last an hour. An hour and 30 minutes, like, it sounds kind of dumb. So for the dolls in the reboot, I'll give them, I'll give them that. Some of the dolls actually look kind of nice. I really like the way Monica and Ari turned out. They look nice. Not to mention Laguna's reboot face isn't half bad, but for the movies, I'm not a fan. Now, another thing is the detail. So quality has been going down, but for dolls like Ari, she has full, ar her stand broke. Um, this Ari happens to have full articulation. If I could ever fix her stand one moment. This is the only Ari Huntington doll with full articulation. At the elbow, the wrist, the knees, the neck, and the shoulder. But all of the other Ari's don't have this, don't have all this like stuff, like all this articulation. I'm sorry, I forget my words. Like she has a cheap version. Oh, her stand broke again, lovely. Her stand just does that a lot. Not to mention her hair is actually kind of nice anyway. But Ari is just a bit of a spectra ripoff. When I scanned her at Walmart, it said, M it said MH Spectra. So I'm sitting there like, even the scanners think she's a Spectra ripoff. But Ari is actually one of the nicer dolls. As for the reboot Draculaura and the reboot Laguna basics, I want the reboot Laguna. But that's only because I took it took me so long to finally get the original release Laguna. But so I don't want to miss out on this one because her new outfit hasn't changed much from her original and I actually kind of like it. So um so my opinion of the reboot altogether. Let's let's just get into the conclusion before this video is like an hour long. I'm going to be honest, I don't hate the reboot. The movies could be better. They could have better plots. They could have had better thought into them. The dolls, only some characters I hate their faces. Now I know that doll that dolls and toys, like they change their faces every few years. Like Barbie underwent a face change. Barbie is undergoing body changes. And then like, Bratz, I don't think they changed much. They still got them weird peg feet though. But it's only normal for a brand to change their faces. But Monster High, I never thought that would happen. I always thought it'd be these same faces, like, forever. But, hey, the new ones aren't that bad, honestly. I mean, Frankie, I just can't get over her face. Like, where are her eyes? They are non-existent. They don't, they just don't pop. They don't stand out. But for dolls like Ari, I'll admit, the, she kind of saves the reboot for me. She makes me actually kind of like it. So, um, overall, I'd say the reboot isn't that bad. A lot of people are overreacting, kind of like I used to. They're all like, they're like, oh my god, burn them! And I know I used to do that, but now I see that that was a bit of an overreaction because they aren't terrible, they aren't that bad. So, um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I'm sorry if you want to kill me, but you can't. 
because you have no idea where I am and you'll never find me ever, ever, ever. So yeah, thank you guys for watching this video and um, I'll see you in my next one. And also, heart avocados. Heart avocados. Abby, I know you're out there. You can hear me. I love you. <laughs>